hilang orang yang lihat dia Tiliki hilang kira lorosir Tiliki hilang kira lorosir Hilang gambar yang lorosir
speaks a better message the blood speaks the original word from above full of power I declare, I declare today I declare that it will come upon every one of you those are watching all over the world I declare that whatever is happening here is happening wherever you are and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. I'm saying out of dusty ashes and live for God. For the glory of the Lord has come upon you. I declare that you are shining as the glory has been revealed through this telecast. God is there to bless you. You have been led by the Spirit to watch. And you will know and speak that truly I was led by the Spirit to watch this telecast. And I declare blessed as we're watching. Thank you in Jesus' name. Let's have our seats. Worship team, thank you. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Say, I love you, Jesus. Say, I love my Father. Say, I love my Lord. No one can claim to have wisdom when their minds are still dull. When they still cannot perceive the things from above, not such a person can say wisdom is there. Remember the same Second Corinthians, the same First Corinthians, First Corinthians, chapter two, from verse six. However, we declare the mysteries among the matured or we impart higher wisdom among the matured. Running for impartations and yet you receive it from the elementary. And when you receive it from the elementary, you do get attachment. You do get what God did not intend for you to receive. Hence the word says, do not be hasty. Do not be hasty. Tell the neighbor, say, do not be hasty. Say, do not be hasty. Say, do not be hasty. Be patient. And God permitting, 
you will reach that maturity. You will reach that level. Meaning God allowing it, God permitting it. Don't be happy when a man say you are at that level when God did not permit. <laughs> so it says only when God permits will do so. Only when God permits do we love Jesus Christ? Say love you Jesus. Only when God permits. It's a family, you know. It's a family. Why? Where there's a father, there's a family. And somewhere, a father is not a father, it's just a husband without being a father. You may be a husband and like the title of a father. You may be a husband, but lacking a title of being a father. Remember the revelation that God gave us about uh, Abraham's servant going to look for a wife for Isaac, looking for Rachel. The seven, the same way as in John chapter 4, when Jesus said to the Samaritan woman, give me water to drink. The servant of Abraham did the same thing to Rachel. Give me water to do what? To drink. Ask him for, for water. The way Rachel did everything, the servant said, who is your father? Take me to your father. But now Jesus said to Samaritan woman, where is your husband? Where there's a father, there's a family. Where there's a husband, there's no family. Meaning you can be a husband lacking a title of being a father. So Jesus says, where's your husband? It means she went to all of them, five. There was no satisfaction. Where there's a father, there's satisfaction. Where the father is, there is what? That is, that is satisfaction. That is, so Jesus came to even teach us to know more about the father. When you pray, our father in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done. On letting us know more about the father. He's talking about the father. They say, show us the father. He says, how long shall I be with you? The father is someone who is discovered in the spirit. The father is discovered from hidden stuff. From hidden mysteries. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? I want us to go to the same book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Say, I love you, Jesus. So I'm blessed above all. So I'm blessed above all. Hallelujah. 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 Can you imagine trying to persecute where the father is? Where the husband is, you can manage, but where the father is, there's already persecution happened. Do we love our Father? I want us to get this. Okay, let, let's just take um, from verse 6. From verse 6. Yet when we are among the full grown, the spiritual mature Christians. Those are a true family from above. Remember 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Not all of us will die, but we will be changed the same. So it's the same family. If Look, if some people die and they go to heaven, they're with God. First Corinthians 15 says, not all of us definitely will die, but we will be changed the same. Do we love Jesus Christ? So what Moses has in heaven right now, you have it. What Jewel has in heaven right now, you have it. What the Apostle Paul has in heaven, you have it now. 
whichever way we can say they are like this. If they are like that, we are like that. If God is like that in heaven, we are like that here on earth. Huh? Because First John chapter 4 says, as he is in heaven, so are we here on earth. So it's the same family. So Jesus, before he goes to the tabernacle, which was not made by human hands, he says to Mary Magdalene, go and tell my brothers that I still have to go to my father, their father. So it's the same family. My God, they are God. My father, their father. My God, they are they are God. So go and tell my brothers. So he's still mentioning that we are a family. As he is in heaven, so are we here on earth. So we need to understand that part, what is happening there. Today we're going to have Holy Communion, but we need to understand the level that we eat. You have to understand what you are going to eat now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We can go to the same table, but many people may not eat the same as others. Blessed are your eyes because they can see. And blessed are your ears because they can hear. What do you see? Do you see what is from the supermarket? Or do you see what is from God? So blessed are your eyes because they can see and your ears can hear. So what do you do? You take the body, you take the blood, you take the bread, you take two fish, you look unto the Father. Father, I thank you. So when you give them, it's you. When you give them, it's you. Next time when they ask, we're looking for the bread. He said, how long shall I be with you? I am. I am the bread. I am the? I am the? I am the? I'm the bread. Do you love Jesus Christ? Read that. Yet when we are among the full grown, the spiritually mature Christians who are, who are ripe in understanding, we do impart a higher wisdom. We do impart a higher? Wisdom. A higher wisdom. Uh -huh. The knowledge of the divine plan. The knowledge of the divine plan. Previously hidden. Previously hidden. But it Remember is Remember what we touched last week. It was previously hidden. An example is of the book of Daniel chapter 12. When God said to Daniel, Daniel, now close the book. And Daniel was now anxious. When will the time come when this book shall be opened? Now it was hidden in the past age. Because he said, Daniel, close it. So all prophets could not look into it. They could not look into it. It was closed. It was only opened when Jesus came. That's why it says, the answer to Daniel says, it will be for three and a half years. Three and a half years when Jesus reached the age of 30. When he reached the age of 30, his ministry started. After three and a half years, he was at the cross. So it will be for three and a half. That's when the book gets opened. Revelation chapter 5, John begins to weep. And the angel comes and says, John, stop weeping. For the lion of the tribe of Judah prevailed and he overcame. He's able to open the book and all the seals thereof. Because why? John saw the book closed from within and on the back. He says no one was found worthy to open the scroll and all the seals thereof. So it was closed from within and on the back. So Jesus had to go and when they wanted to, to crucify him, they didn't know. They started flocking him on the back. Before he went to the cross, the flock, they didn't know that they were opening from the back because God said to Moses, you'll never see my face and you leave. You'll never see my glory. And God says, the only part that you'll see will be my back. And God's back was closed. So Jesus had to come and he had to come, says, my back has to be opened because I'm in the Father. The Father is in me. I and the Father are one. So they had to hit him on the back. And remember when Moses so God's back. Immediately the next chapter, that's when Moses received the law. He never received the message of grace. He received the previous covenant. He received the old covenant. 
And when you receive the old covenant, how can you set the people free with the old? When the new comes, you set the people free. Are we going somewhere? So Moses saw God's back and received the law. But if you see Jesus' back, you receive grace. You receive what? Because my sheep hear me by my voice. My sheep hear me by my voice and they do what? They follow me. So you can never follow him with a bag that is closed. So let everyone take up his cross and follow me. He already took up his cross and his bag is open so that we can follow him wherever he goes. So we hear him by his voice and we follow him. So they started with the bag before they could go to the cross. So they opened the book on the back. They opened the book, which was closed in Revelation chapter 5, and went to the cross. All the seals were now opened. All the seals were now opened. But now many could, could, could still not see or perceive what Jesus was saying. This is my body, and this is my blood. They end up saying this teaching is too hard. Who can accept it? And you must understand it's too deep. It's too deep. Do you love Jesus Christ? Do you love Jesus Christ? Celebrate Jesus. I am the bread. Show us the bread. I am the bread. If you eat of me, you'll never be hungry again. And if you drink of me, you'll never be thirsty. So they said, this is too much. It's too tough. You know what? They couldn't chew it. They couldn't swallow it. It was solid food. They allowed themselves to be babies who cannot eat the mystery. Many in ministry, when they serve God, they allow themselves to be babies. You cannot blame anyone. And that's why you must get the mystery. Jesus is saying in Matthew 7, you will see them by their fruits. There are people whom you can meet and eat and drink Holy Communion. Not what is from the supermarket. But there are those who can meet, you eat what is from the supermarket. You are just wasting time. You drink what is from the supermarket. Why? Look, I'm giving you a mystery now. He said you will see them by their fruits. The problem is you look for fruits. And you don't check where the fruit fell. When it says you see them by their fruit, you must get it. You see them by their? If you see fruit there, you must get it. He's not talking about the fruit that is already in a supermarket being sold in everywhere or in your house. You must get it. Fruit, they do not fall far away, two, three kilometers away from the tree. You know the type <laughs> of the tree that the fruit fell from. So anybody who comes seeing their fruit, you must know the tree. <laughs> Hence, people will come and talk about family trees. Ooh. And they talk about family tree. You must get it. And that's the tree that God revealed at the entrance of this farm, full of leaves, big leaves. And God began to show how many people are still going to be trained and do strange things. So God showed that those leaves are the sons, are the daughters, many of them. And the tree is just covered by leaves. You don't even see the stem. Now, God began to show me that a fruit does not fall far away from the tree. Many people see the fruit but they don't realize the tree. That's why it's easy to eat. It's easy to eat. It's easy to just eat. But until you know the tree, until you know what? The tree. Do we love Jesus Christ? If you rest under a good tree, you have a hope that one day it will produce its fruit because you already know the type of tree that you are resting under. <laughs> you know what type of fruit you are going to eat. 
Do we love Jesus Christ? I said people will talk about family trees. I'm not talking about anybody. You must listen. I'm just simply rubbing off what misleads people. Now, however we declare the mysteries among the matured, this is a family. They don't eat porridge. There's no breakfast there. There's no cereals. There's no lunch. It's only dinner there. It's only supper. It's only supper. I want to, let, let's read, you'll get it. Let's read. Yet when we are among the full grown, the spiritually mature Christians, the spiritually mature Christians, uh -huh. who are ripe in spiritually understanding, spiritually mature Christians, who are ripe in understanding, who are ripe in, they are ripe in Understanding. They arrive in understanding. What do we do? We do impart a higher wisdom. We impart a higher wisdom. Wisdom. We impart higher. I want you to understand when your mind is totally destroyed, when your mind is no more there, your spirit, you serve God with your spirit. Your spirit within you is the one who is worthy to eat solid food. I want you to get this. The spirit for, because the word of the Lord, it says the word of the Lord is sharper than any double-edged sword. Hebrews 4, no? Hebrews 4 says the word of the Lord is sharper than any double-edged sword. If you are not ready to eat solid food, the word of the Lord has not yet come. Remember, it says the word of the Lord comes, it goes even to a divine soul. It's a division between what? Division between the, the soul and spirit. The spirit meaning the immortal spirit. So when the word of God comes, it goes to that part where there's a dividing wall. A wall of division, a wall of hostility. Meaning that when the word goes there, it finds that now this side, because it goes to a dividing wall between soul and spirit, this spirit can eat solid food, but the soul cannot. Are we clear? The soul can, cannot eat solid food. That's why the word of the Lord goes to that part where there's a division between your spirit and your soul. So the apostle Paul says, I thank God whom I serve with my spirit. I thank God whom I serve with my Spirit. So the word of Lord comes and destroys that wall of hostility. And when it destroys that wall of hostility, the spirit is able to enter your soul. But your soul cannot enter the spirit because your soul is not even worthy to come in there. So the, 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 the spirit is able to enter your soul to cause you to do all things. When the apostle Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, through Christ who strengthens me. Now the word Christ came between. The word Christ came between. That's a wall of division. Everyone we are divided. In one person, there's the spirit and there's the soul. When the word is being preached, the word goes to the division line. And it destroys that wall of hostility. But now, today we still say, many who are immature, there's still a wall of division. It's impossible for them to understand. They are not ripe in understanding. If you hear somebody criticizing or speaking bad about what is of God, or don't understand what is of God, look at division in them. Because they don't understand. Even this Holy Communion, there are people who struggle with understanding it. There are people who give this from the supermarket. They give this not from God. It's the soul that gives you this. Now I want to help you. Check whether it's the soul 
that gives you this or is it the spirit? Check whether it's the soul. Where does division line? It's the soul that gives you Holy Communion. You will see them by their fruits. And once you realize the tree, you'll know which family. You know which? I want us to get this. I want us. There are people who have been drinking earthly water. They've been drinking earthly water. They've been eating earthly food. Remember 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Are we clear? Now, brothers, I do not want you to be ignorant. When the Israelites moved in the desert, they were baptized in the Moses. They were baptized in the clouds. They were baptized in the sea. There are people who are like that. They still have the old with the baptism of the sea, baptism of the cloud, baptism of Moses. Now, the apostle Paul says they all ate the same spiritual food that came from above. And they all drank the same spiritual drink that came from the rock. It says that the rock was Christ. So because of their ignorance, they could not see solid. In fact, many Israelites thought they were traveling and they thought somewhere, even when they teach you in the past, they thought when they're traveling, even when they taught you, your understanding is that they traveled and some way they met where there was a rock. Uh -uh. That rock accompanied them always. And it says that rock was Christ. That rock was Christ. So they could not realize the Christ. Even when they drank water, it was not from the rock. Because the moment it reaches where there's a division, it cannot manifest to be a reality. Because where there's a division, you don't see the blood. You don't see the body of Christ. You don't see his flesh. Then you take it to the man. That's why you get sick. You get sick because solid comes into the soul without your spirit. That's why you get sick and die before time. Oh, it's quiet now. It's quiet now. Do we love our Father? I want us to understand this. So now, it says, however, we declare the mysteries among the matured. This is a mystery. That's why the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 starts by saying, now, brethren, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all die, but we will be changed the same. We will be changed the same. If we're not the same, the spirit and the soul. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? We shall not all die, but we will be changed the same. As he is in heaven, so are we here on earth. That's why when the apostle Paul bows his knees and prays, he says, I bow my knees. Before who? The father, you must get it. Where there's a father, there's a family. I bow my knees before my father. From whom the whole family in heaven and on earth derives his name. Because he's the father. It's the Greek word. Father is the Greek word for family. It's a great word because where there's a father, there's a family. So there are ministers who are teaching as husbands, evangelizing as husbands, prophesying as husbands, healing the sick as husbands, casting out demons as husbands. A husband, a soul, the father, the spirit. 
When the spirit enters the husband, now we have the father. There's a family. So when the word, the word of the Lord comes, the word Christ comes, it goes to a dividing line and it crushes that wall of hostility. It destroys that wall of hostility because there's a division in you. That's why when the scribes came to Jesus and says, show us the kingdom, where's the kingdom? Jesus said, it's within you. The only problem is there's a wall of hostility. You don't know what is in you. So I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. I knew you as a substance. Deep inside you, there's a substance. Substance knows everything. Substance knows everything. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now faith is the substance of things. While you are still hoping, nothing is there. There's no reality. There's no solidness. Faith is the reality. is a substance. So God says, I knew you as a substance. When sons of glory are manifested, it's a title deed. It's a title deed. So the word of the Lord penetrates and it goes even to a dividing soul. It goes to a dividing line. When it comes to dividing line, it's a dividing line between soul and spirit. That's why many people don't get this. I speak to spirit, I don't speak to soul. If I speak to spirit, I know things will happen. You will eat grass, you will drink petrol, you do everything. You will not die because I spoke to the spirit. I didn't speak to the soul. If I give you poison and it goes to the soul, you will die. But now I instruct the spirit. The moment I can speak to the spirit, that's why you can speak to babies in their mother's wombs. When you speak, they respond because I don't speak to the baby that you made with your husband. I'm communicating with the one whom the father spoke and said, I knew you before you were. I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. So who are we communicating with? A mystery. If God speaks and says, I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb, the husband, it's not the will of the husband. The will of the husband is not there. But it's the will of the father. It's the will of substance can eat solid food. But a baby cannot. A baby cannot eat solid food. But substance can take what is from above. Solid. That's why Jesus comes. If you can be like these little ones. Because they listened as substance. How do we see that they listen as substance? You can tell them to stand on top there. And say, come, jump, baby. They know this is the father. This is the family. They will never, never doubt. They will fly. You will catch them because the father is down there. I want us to get this. What do we eat here? There are those who give it by the soul. There are those who give it by the spirit. Romans 1, the apostle Paul says, I thank God whom I serve with my spirit. I I thank God whom I serve with my, so I serve him with my spirit. So there's no failure. So there's no failure. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Doing it from the soul, you don't know God. You operate with gifts. But from the spirit, you know him and the power of resurrection. Are we clear? So, Hebrews 4 says, the word of the Lord is sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates and goes to a dividing line. Division between soul and 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 spirit. 
So before the word of the Lord comes, there is a division. But when the Lord of, word of the Lord comes, it comes, it breaks that wall of hostility. It destroys that wall. Because show us the kingdom. No, it's within you. You're not aware. You're not aware. Why are you not aware that you carry the kingdom in you? Because there's still that wall. There's still that wall. Do you love Jesus Christ? Jesus says in Luke 22, I will never eat and drink with this, this with you anymore. This is the last supper. But next time when I'll eat and drink with you, it will be in the kingdom. So I can never eat with you because you are still souls. They're still... Because they, remember they suffered with this. Peter and others, they kept on sharing the bread every day, but they could never teach about why they couldn't, why they couldn't teach about it. They were sharing bread every day. It was a religion. Come on, I don't know if somebody gets this. I, I can hear religious spirit. Let's break it. Let's destroy it. Chapter 4, Acts, chapter 5. Now, Ananias and Sapphira, they come, they die, they share with the poor and everything. They break bread daily, but they could not teach about it because they lacked the mystery. So Jesus said, I will no longer have this with you. This is the last supper. I'll only have it after with you inside the kingdom. So once the spirit comes or the word, because the words that I'm speaking to you, they are spirit and life. The word spirit, Christ comes and breaks that wall of hostility. Then I come in. Then we can eat. Then we can eat. And there are people who are being given this by their souls. Know the tree. The fruit does not fall far away from the tree. There are those who receive this from souls and not from the spirit. This teaching is too hard. Who can accept it? Today you'll understand why they left Jesus. You'll understand why those disciples left Jesus. 72. You can fall with that attack thinking that I've worked so hard. I've got that. No, it's in matters of the kingdom. It's in matters of the... You'll have heart disease said, hey, somebody said this about me. Hey, this is going to happen with my church and whatever. Jesus was left with 11. And he caused an impact all over the world. He caused an impact. Look. If the fruit does not fall far away from the tree. Leaders are measured by their absence. Even if I'm not there, Timothy will do the same thing. You will know the tree. You will know the tree because he's not far away from the tree. You'll see them by their fruits. He said to them in John 6, the words that I'm speaking to you, they are spirit. So the word spirit goes to the dividing line. The word spirit, the word Christ. You must get it, not the word Jesus, but the word Christ. Because I can do all things through. So if you eat solid food and it comes into the soul, it comes into a baby. Lebra caducia. Solid food comes into the baby and the baby cannot make it. The baby dies. That's why you eat in a wrong manner. You drink in a wrong manner. You get sick and you die before time. You cannot finish your assignment. The son finishes assignment. And the moment you are a son, it means you remain forever. Even when your assignment can be finished, but the son will always live. The son has eternal life. Because now what do you carry? You carry life. In him there was life. His death brought us a life. In him there was life. And that life became the light of men. What do you give to men if you don't carry that light? We carry the death of Jesus Christ. That's what the Apostle Paul said. Understand Holy Communion. 
That's why many try to come. Some even privately try to say, man of God, the only part that I want from you, I want that Holy Communion. But they couldn't get it. Because privately, you want only that part. That part does not stay in the soul. That part comes from the spirit. That part comes from the spirit. So I'm trying to teach a lot so that you can understand. That's why now, touch not the anointed does not come. The, the soul, no problem, but come to the spirit. You can do anything to Jesus, but you, you, if you touch the Holy Spirit in a wrong manner, you will not be forgiven. That's why now we see these confessions are happening because many tried to operate with the soul. They reasoned in the soul. They made decisions in the soul. They made amens in the soul. They meant everything in the soul. But when the spirit says yes, God says yes. Second Corinthians Chapter 1. My message with Timothy and Silas has always been yes to Christ. Meaning they all served God with their spirit. Not a yes that might mean no later. But a yes, it's a yes to Christ. The same family in heaven and on earth. So when we preach, when we teach the word of God, we actually step into a dividing line. If we can't destroy that, we are saving God, not with our spirit, it's flesh, the mind of a human being. The mind of a human being, not the spirit, which is the lamp of God. Because the book of Proverbs says, it is your spirit which is the lamp of God. Which is the lamp of, of God. I want us to get this, all of us. Let us teach and also open people's eyes and ears. It says, however we impart a higher wisdom... I can pray for you the same with everybody. Not everybody may get such higher wisdom because some, they cannot chew it. They cannot eat it. Are we clear? Don't feel condemned because with submission, God will permit. Not without submission. Not without humility. Because a student is not better than his teacher, but it is enough for a student to be like the teacher. Same family. Matthew 10. A student is not better than his teacher, but it is enough for a student to be like the teacher. It is the teacher who permits the student to go to another level to become like him. So when God permits, do we love Jesus Christ? So now, through your obedience, look unto the table, see the blood of Christ. See his flesh. And let God take you there. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? So, it says, however we declare the mysteries among them, the mature, repeat that with the vision. Yeah. But are we blessed? Do we understand everything now? Are we writing... Even all the scriptures that I'm quoting, I'm writing everything. Let's move. Let's move, family. Uh, family. 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 We are spreading, even in this country, we don't compromise, we go on. And out of the country, we are spreading it all over the world. You don't know how God works. Some of the things he allows them to happen in every country so that people can be shocked about what is happening. So that he, it's, a, it's a base. It's a base that God puts so that everybody can welcome it.
And we are not going to fail. We are going to do it. If God comes up with a strange generation, strange generation is not in one country. So there's no wall of division. It goes everywhere. Are we clear? Read it. Yet when we are among the full grown, the spiritually mature Christians who are ripe in understanding, uh -huh. we do impart a higher wisdom. We do impart a? A higher wisdom. A higher wisdom when we are among the full grown spiritual matured Christians. Matured, matured, you must get it. If you are matured, what do you eat? What do you eat? So what is solid food? What is solid food? It's higher wisdom. What is higher wisdom? Solid food. What, is, what are they? They're mysteries. Are we clear? So the matured eat. So constant use of it. There's no breakfast. There's no lunch. Constant use of it. You'll get it. Constant use of it. Constant use of it. So we are coming into your house. We are making an appearance in your houses. We go to that cereal. We go to those eggs. We go to those bacons. We change them. We say constant use now solid food. We go to lunch solid food. We go to supper solid food. Now every time when you eat anything at any time, Father, I thank you. Father, I, Father, I, Father, I, I want to teach you maturity now. I want to teach you maturity. I want you to see how the spirit functions. And the spirit which is hidden in you. So this is the divine plan which was kept hidden in the past age. And God says, I knew you before you were form formed in your mother's womb. What do I have? I have plans and thoughts not to harm you, but to prosper you. What are those plans? What are they in? Where are they in? In the book. There's a book inside of you which you're not aware of. Now it's there. So it's activated by what? By the word. When the word comes, it opens. I want somebody to get it now. No? Say love with Jesus. Say love with Jesus. Say love with Jesus. Read them. Yet when we are among the full grown, the spiritually mature Christians who are ripe in understanding. They are ripe in? Understanding. In understand. They can never stand and say, but this is not of God, but they cannot define it. You cannot tell where it comes from. Tomorrow you say it's a certain is. Tomorrow you say it's from Lesotho in the mountain. T tomorrow you say it's from Zimbabwe, from the mount, from the from the fountain, certain waterfall. He went from there. He, so tomorrow you say it's from the river of Val, Val River. Tomorrow you say, ah, uh ah, -uh, what's happening with you? And tomorrow you tell others, I don't know. Mana, I don't know. Mana, I don't know where it comes. It means I don't, and I don't understand. So I'm giving you what your forefathers knew nothing about. The new will make the old obsolete. Your forefathers had nothing but the law. In the past, Hebrews one, God spoke to our forefathers in and by through the prophets. But in the last of these days, he speaks to us in the person of the son. Who is the son? Christ, the mystery of God, higher wisdom. <laughs> Solomon did not have higher wisdom. He had lower wisdom. He said, I busied myself with earthly wisdom. Ecclesiastes chapter 1. He says, I busied myself with earthly wisdom. He says, I, the teacher. You see how he refers himself? He says, I, the teacher. You see, he was a teacher. Who used to be king over Israel? What was he teaching at least just the chapter on you'll take it on your own. You'll take it from start from verse 6, go down, verse 8, go down. It says, I, the teacher, who used to be king over Israel. You was a teacher who used to be king. You see, you are a teacher who is a king. Which king? It's not of glory. Which teacher? The way Solomon spoke was like Nicodemus when he came to Jesus. 
Because these were two teachers, two rulers. The one one is from above, the other one is from the earth. Jesus says in John 3 verse 31, he says, The one who's from above speaks from above, and the one who's from below speaks from, from the earthly point of view. Now, Jesus, I don't know if somebody gets this. Do we get it? No? Now, here it is. Now, Solomon says, I, the teacher who used to be king over Israel, I busied myself with earthly wisdom. So he spoke from? He said, I, I busied myself with earthly wisdom. He says, I saw below the sun, not beyond the sun. So the one who's from above is a higher wisdom. So Christ has become our wisdom. From. So we are going to eat. This is solid food. This is solid. The one with lower wisdom is not ripe in understanding, so it's difficult to understand it or teach or give this. There are those who give this from their souls. They don't serve God with their spirit. So Romans 1, the apostle Paul comes and says, I thank God whom I serve in my spirit. There are those who serve in the soul. They give it with the soul. Even though you try to look at it or see it somehow, the fact is you get it from the soul. You still get sick and die before time. Are we learning something? Yeah, in the meantime, just read Ephesians 4, just verse 13. Just verse 13. Did you learn something? I wish we can just start eating and drinking. Because I believe what you receive right now. Did you hear it already? Huh? Did you hear it? Huh? 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 Let's go. That it might develop until we all attain oneness in the faith and in the comprehension. Uh, wait, wait. I said family. If you understand the scream, repeat. That it might develop oh, until we... Why do you teach? You teach to develop them so that they might reach what? Ugh. Oneness in the faith. No one can say, Aye, this is not of God. This is... Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. However, we declare the mysteries among the mature who are ripe in understanding. They reached what we call oneness in the faith. They developed. So if it developed, it can eat. If the baby is not well developed and you give them bones, they will die. Now, repeat, repeat that part. I just want verse 13 so that people can get it. Now, so, so some, somebody has done communication and say, but how do we start this? Why don't we start where we understand? No, we start it from maturity. Yeah. Somebody has done communication. Come on, I've done communication at school. I understand. Then I can dribble communication. Jesus has done biology in the spirit. has done geography in the spirit. has done mathematics in the spirit. So when you come with the earthly one, he can... He can deal with that simple. Are we clear? Now, listen to this. If you're done communication, now I'm destroying that wall of hostility. Now, listen to this. Listen to this. That it might develop until we... What must develop? What must develop? The baby must develop. The church must develop. Are we clear? Uh-huh. That it might develop until we all attain oneness in until the faith. Until all we become a family, oneness in faith. Now, faith is the substance. Until substance come together. <laughs> I don't know somebody. Gets. Until substance, until that spirit comes. And now, when it comes to the soul, now when you meet, the spirit says, yes. Yes, we can declare the mysteries among the bishop. I cannot say anything bad about you. The moment I say anything bad about you, I had this in a wrong manner. 
it's not in union and in communion with Christ. If it's in union and in communion with Christ, I cannot speak better. When I meet with you, I see that mystery. Now my spirit stepped into the soul. If your spirit stepped into your soul, when we meet, it's in union and in communion. We can eat together. But why do we waste time trying to eat where there's nothing, there's no agreement, there's, not, there's no union in the faith, there's no unity in the faith. Now faith is a substance. And I knew you as a substance. So God knows his family. He's the father. He's the father. He knows his family. So when a fruit falls here, we always see that this is the tree. So he knows. Are we clear? Is somebody learning something now? Is somebody learning something? Now the father knows. He says, I knew you as a substance. Now, faith is the substance. That's what God knew. So, until we all reach unity in the faith, until we all reach oneness, what is oneness? We declare the mysteries among the matured. They are one. They are developed. They are matured. So, constant use of solid food is for the matured. Constant use. There's no breakfast. There's no lunch, there's no supper, there's no something soft before you can. There's no starter. There's no dessert. <laughs> because you can't start with solid food and come with soft. But, but are we learning something? Are we learning something? I, I want you to know how to dine with your master. Because... He said, behold, I stand and knock at the door. Those who open, I will come in. I will eat with them. And they will eat with me in my father's throne. I knew in the kingdom they will eat and drink with me. Those who have ears, let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. It's in matters of the kingdom. Get your development today. Get your development are we clear? So wherever you go, be able to identify what. Am I receiving this from the soul? Anything being preached from the soul is evil. Yeah. It may be read from this, from the soul, it's evil. Because we can do all things through Christ, the mystery of God. Now, just read that verse. These are scriptures that we know, don't we? We'll go to scriptures that we all know, but let's hear the Christ speaking to us. Are we clear? Are we clear, people of God? Are we happy? Are we blessed? Are we going somewhere? Are we going somewhere? Now, read, read that part. Developing from who's developing? The church. It means it was a baby which was not developed. That's why verse 14 in the same chapter, verse 14 you said, so that we shouldn't be like children tossed back and forth by waves of teaching. So a child tossed back and forth by the waves. This is the year with the wave for that. This is the year with the wave. Now somebody, you get it now. You get it now. Children tossed back and forth by waves. There's nothing good that they eat. Everything that they eat kills them. Come on, let, let's go, let's go. I want you to get it. Concentrate and hear. That it might develop until we all attain oneness in the until faith. Until we all become one family in heaven and on earth. Until we all reach oneness in the faith. So that's why we declare the mysteries now. Among the matured, they developed. So if we reach there, we can now. So somebody who has not developed yet, even those who are underdeveloped, standing at the front teaching. Because they're not ripe in the understanding. If you don't understand the mystery, you speak better about the mystery. You call it a certain mystery. You call the mystery that it needs deliverance. This mystery needs deliverance, but you cannot prove the deliverance you're talking about. So it's only lips. Why lips? Because your hearts are far away. 
It's lips. Are we learning something? Are we learning something? Now, get it, get it. Repeat there. That it might develop until we all attain oneness in the faith. Until we all reach oneness in the faith. In the faith, uh huh. And in the comprehension of the full and accurate knowledge of the Son of God. We get accurate knowledge of the Son of God. There was no accurate knowledge in John chapter 6 because they left him when he said, I am the bread. So because there's no accurate knowledge, they left him. Have you seen babies leaving the solid one who wanted to develop them? Babies left with abilities. They left with the gift of healing, with the gift of deliverance, with the gift of prophecy. They left. Those ones could eat poison and die. They would pick up snakes and they would die. Why? They serve God not with their spirit. They serve with their soul. This signs uh, all of them that believe they will heal the sick, they will cast the demons, they will speak in unknown tongues, they will drink poison, it will never harm them, they will pick up snakes, they will never harm. Now, the soul, when anything wrong enters that level, it changes its mind. Let there be light there. There's no darkness. Are we clear? Are we clear? Now, repeat again. I want people to hear this. That it might develop until we all attain oneness in the faith. Family, faith, substance. I knew you as a substance. Uh -huh. And in the comprehension of the full and accurate knowledge in of the, the Son of God. the comprehension of the full and accurate knowledge of who? The, the Son, Son of God. Of God. Knowing the Christ. Knowing him. So where there's one family, we know the Father. We know the tree. Now what is happening? Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, I cut. But every branch in me that bears fruit, I prune. And I cause them to bear fruit in the more. When the fruits are there, who do you see? I'm the vine. I am the vine. You know the type of tree. You know the father. There must be accurate knowledge of this because this is the mystery. Are we clear? It's a mystery. It's a book which was closed, but it was opened, cut, crucified, and everything. It was opened so that we can know. It was revealed. And now, when it's revealed, you must have that accurate knowledge, reaching unity in the faith. So, if you know what is written inside this book, You have an accurate knowledge of him. So if you can get what is written inside, knowing him together, we become a family. Now someone who's great, someone who's ripe in understanding, when he prays, will say, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth derives his name. It's a developed family. It is a developed family. That family has reached unity in the faith. The substance. Unity in the faith. Faith is substance. I knew you. But now you were lost. For you to be found, the word had to come to a wall of hostility and destroy it. Because you were lost. Now you're found. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love our Father? Do we love our Father? Do we love our Father? Now, go on there. Go on there. That we might arrive at really mature manhood. That we might really arrive where? At mature men. When you reach unity in the faith, when you arrive in understanding, where do we arrive? Maturity. So you are going to eat something different now. Are we clear? Now you're going to eat something different. There are those who eat without understanding. They're not ripe in understanding. There are those who want to teach it and give it without being ripe in understanding. 
So they give it from the soul. And when they give you, you must get it. It's the same as being hasty in laying on of hands. You will share. You will share. Go on, go on, let's get it. That we might arrive at really mature manhood. Maturity is there. Mature manhood. Uh huh. Mature what? Manhood. Mature manhood can do the things from above. Let's go. The completeness of personality. The completeness of what? Personality. personality. Uh huh. Which is nothing less than the standard height of Christ's own perfection. Nothing less than the standard height of Christ. What? Own perfection. Own perfection. You become a complete man. Let's go. The measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. The measure of the stature of the fullness of? Christ. Uh Uh-huh. And the completeness found in him. The completeness found in him. So the apostle Paul said, I consider everything I have rubbish. He doesn't teach rubbish. The cars I have, the houses, the business, this is rubbish. The only thing is that I may be found in. There are people who are found in their cars. That's how you know them. They are found in their businesses. They are found in their money. They are found. That when you look at the car passing by, because they are found in their car, he says, this man had got that car. That man has got that car because they are found in there. There are people when you look up, they are found in Christ. They are found in who? Okay, sleep then. Sleep. Leave her. Leave her. Let her sleep there. Nicely so. So I spoke to the... Huh? I spoke to the... I spoke to the... I spoke to the... I spoke to the... To the... I spoke to the... They're so young that when they wear their wigs, it closes even their ears and then closes even their eyes. They don't see. Some of them, but from a pond, it's a lady. So I spoke to the the spirit will listen. The spirit is obedient. The spirit, there's no fruit of sinful nature. There's no fruit of sinful nature because the spirit is the one that God knew before formed in your mother's womb. So this one can be obedient to God. This one is obedient to God. This one can listen. When I say, my ship, stand up. Come in the passage. In the passage. Don't touch me. Come together. Don't touch me. Go to the passage. Come in this passage. Come, many of you, with high speed. Go to the passage. Stand up. Stand up. On your feet. Slip. The spirit is obedient. The spirit is what? And when I say sleep, the spirit steps into the soul. I can clap you, I can jump in front on top of you. You won't feel pain because I can do all things. The spirit. The spirit. Now, many don't understand. I'm speaking to those who, I'm still teaching to those who fail. Those who already know that at the back of their mind, they're stupid. They spoke for nothing. Because when you do this, who are you speaking to? Now, listen. Somebody will get it now. There are what we call demon spirit. And they said to Jesus, after the man who was from the tomb, who was crazy, mad, they said, through your permission, permit us to go into this ox. Yeah. Now, this, the spirit is obedient to him. 
Because they said, through your permission. They know that he exists. So how much more about your spirit which God knew before a demon can be around? So there are people who are not right in understanding. Those are the higher level of a demon. They are a higher level of a wisdom. So now we impart higher wisdom. There are those with higher level of a demon. Because a demon knows, it can say through your permission, but they can say not through anybody's permission. This is not of God. I don't understand it yet. I don't know. I don't know anywhere there, anywhere there. I want to show you, there are people who, with a level that is higher. However we impart higher wisdom, what they impart on you, what is it? What do they impart? Because I knew you before you were formed in man. So if I knew you, I'm the father. I know family before you can even change. You can try whatever. You can say he introduced this thing. Now it's pretty. When you talk about it, you show the Holocaust. <laughs> you show the Holocaust. Look how they died. No, nobody died. All of them are survivors of petrol, survivors of grass, survivors of survivors, 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 survivors. Why? Look, you, because you are in union and in communion with him, the moment I speak to the spirit, the spirit begins to have a taste. The spirit begins to eat the mystery. So I want to show you a higher wisdom. Now the spirit, apart from the soul, begins to eat what permits it to cross the dividing line. And come into the soul. And now, as they are right now, what is happening? The spirit became obedient to what? The word. Because the word goes to the dividing line. Now, the spirit begins to eat. That's why you, you, you can start and now learn how to do things that we do and everything and get the gift and whatever. But explaining or defining it, you may not. You can come and say, slip, and they sleep, they clip hands. But can you define it? Hey, I'm not talking about anybody. You're the one imagining in your mind. Your mind ate something. Your mind ate something. But you cannot define it. You, after doing that, you will blaspheme against it because it's in your soul. You don't serve God with your spirit. I, I will learn something today. I will learn something today. Because you serve God with your soul, you can even speak better about it and talk about how useless it is because you spoke with your soul. And the same measure will be given unto you. So now it's what? It's the spirit. Who do you speak to? Now demon spirit, they came and said, permit us. Quickly they ran into those hawks. By the permission, they, it means they couldn't go into the hawks. They couldn't go into those hawks. But now who was speaking? Who permitted them? The word spoke. Christ spoke. The word spoke. Christ spoke. Now I permit you. Now, when I permit you, now I go. Are we going somewhere? Do you understand this? Now, now speaking to the spirit, the dividing wall gets broken and the spirit is able to enter where it never entered before. And the spirit has entered. Those who are sinful can see, but it's so dirty here. I can't wait for this to be finished. So that I can stay here and not come in and go back. I must stay in here. So that this one can enjoy doing all things through Christ. Are we clear?
Avitle? Avitle? Do you understand this? Are we learning something? Because some of the things people do without knowing what they're doing. That's why you ask God and say, Father, help me. Let me understand what you've given me. So their principle is there. Get this. Can you repeat there? We leave them sleeping on door. They can sleep like this. We can leave them for a month. Look at Holocaust. Do you see what that man is doing? Don't talk far. Come sit down with me and I'll do something with you. I'll never leave you. <laughs> Don't speak from far. I will never leave you. I will never leave you. I will deal with you. No, we condemn this act. We condemn this. Come sit down with me. You're taking advantage of me. Come sit with me. Everything, when we, con when we command the spirit, we can make everything lose while you speak. Let's sit down and show you. Now, I want us to understand this, people. Ne? Get this. Are we learning something? Are we learning something? Are we learning something? Let's go. Now, the spirit, now, you, that's what you carry in you. And now when you speak, the word comes. Now, the spirit begins to experience something new. So, let's go in there. And now, the spirit is happy. You know why? Why? Now, it manifests into the word into the soul. Let's go. That it might develop until we all attain oneness in the faith. Until we all reach oneness in the faith. And faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the reality. Now what is happening is I knew you as a substance. Faith is the substance. I knew you as a substance. Faith can do anything. Faith can do anything. If two agree when you meet with Christ, you can do all things through him who strengthens you. Are we clear? Let's go. Do we understand? Are we in love now? Are we in love? Now you trust me. Don't worry, some will hear, they will confess today. Huh? Why? Let not your ministry operate in the soul. Because when it operates in the soul, it's evil. One day, you'll find that you've done everything wrong. So there are those souls which suffer because they carry something which is not telling with the spirit. Can you imagine standing teaching and in you, you know that I don't understand it, but I speak against it. That's saving God in your soul. So I thank God whom I serve with my spirit. So if I serve my spirit, the spirit has entered that in your soul. Then when I come, I qualify to give you my soul. The Apostle Paul meaning spirit. Meaning? So these people are all what? Sleeping. This is a spirit. Under normal circumstances, you must jump. Yeah. Especially when you're sleeping, you already you think people broke in your house. Somebody's eating you. Wake up when Rabata Chilek. <laughs> but like this. Have you got 
do we get this, ne? We understand this, ne? I just want you to get what is happening here. Now, you speak. They will sleep. Nicely so. You get it? They will sleep like this. And what is happening? You spoke to what? There? If I speak to the spirit, just say, now, it's the part of Jesus. Now you'll get it. It was easy for Peter to die. It was easy for all the disciples to die. They were supposed to die. Now, Luke 22, we read it last week, remember? Now, Jesus comes and says, the devil has been looking for all of you, especially you, Peter. But I've prayed for you. The Holy Spirit has not yet come. These people only carry abilities. They only have gifts. But I've prayed for you so Jesus could speak to their spirit. I prayed for you so that even when you can fall, you'll come back and strengthen the brothers. So no matter what can happen, your spirit will be in action. So those people could die anytime. But because Jesus prayed for them. So even these people, that's why the people, you ate grass, you drank petrol, you drank, what is it? Didn't you think I didn't pray for you? If there's no maturity, you can keep them safe. If there is maturity, you keep them safe. But if there's no maturity, they die. So if Holy Communion is given from the soul, you give what is not good to people. So, under normal circumstances, they must just wake up if you do this. And what do you think? They are gone. Because <laughs> my name is Daniel, the chief of magicians. Look, since she slept, that makeup is not disturbed. <laughs> Look how she slept. And someone who's not the rapist understanding. Look at him. He will kill people. What is it then? This witch. I'm a man. I'm not a witch. Of God. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. <laughs> if you're not the ripe in anesthesia, you will not come. <laughs> you go to kindergarten. <laughs> Who's going to kindergarten? But I want us to get these people. Ne? Understand this. Jesus, when they were supposed to arrest him, I want you to explain this so that you can get it. Now, John 18, they retired at the garden. That's where he used to teach them and everything. Now, um, all the, the, the scribes and the Pharisees with their bodyguards and everything, they come with their soldiers carrying weapons and everything together with Judas. Judas knew Jesus. He used to eat with Jesus on the table. But why couldn't he see me? When Jesus asked a question, why couldn't he see him? When Jesus asked, asked a question, who are you looking for? It was Judas who was leading him. He was supposed to say, guys, don't waste time. It's him. Arrest him. So Jesus said, who are you looking for? They said, Jesus of Nazareth. Judas couldn't say, this is him. They all fell on the ground together with Judas. They all fell. Jesus demonstrated it that you cannot do anything to me. I'm a spirit. 
I'm the Christ now. You can't do anything to me. Are we going somewhere? But now because I've come so that I can die for everybody, leave everyone, just take me. So by my permission, you can take me. By my permission, if I don't permit, you can't do anything. So I'm doing it simply because my father sent me here on earth to die for all of you. So now you can take me, leave all of these ones. So Peter wanted to stop that mission because he always lived to stop that mission. They say, I'm going to be crucified. Obviously, he said, God forbid. Yes. Jesus, you are a stumbling block. You are Satan, man. Now, he wants to stop again. He wants to cut everything. No, I must drink this. I must eat this. I must drink this cup. By his permission, you can take him. But if it's not his permission, you will not. Now, read. Let's get it. Read. That it might develop until we all attain oneness in the faith. Until we all attain oneness in the faith. Until we all become ripe in understanding. Uh-huh. And in the comprehension of the full and accurate knowledge in of the, the Son of God. Comprehension in the accurate full knowledge of who? Of the Son of God. Uh-huh. So that we might arrive at really mature manhood. So when you arrive at really mature manhood, what do you eat? Solid food. Now from then on, there's constant use of solid food. There's no soft, solid. Solid, there's constant use. Let's go. The completeness of personality. The completeness of personality are... Which is nothing less than the standard height of Christ's Which own is perfection. nothing less than the standard height of Christ's own perfection. Perfection. Uh -huh. The measure of the stature of the fullness of the Christ. The measure of the stature of the fullness of who? Christ. He doesn't mention Jesus. Christ is the mystery of God. Let's go. And the completeness found in him. And the completeness found in him. Uh -huh. So then, we may no longer be children. Aye. Uh -huh. Do you hear? Read again, 14. So then, we may no longer be children, tossed like sheep to and fro between the chance gusts of teaching and wavering with every changing wind of doctrine. There's a changing wind of doctrine and people become excited. That's where First Corinthians 13 steps in. They will cease, they will be stilled. That's where First Corinthians 13 steps in. They will be seized. They will be stilled. Because they are foo -foo 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 waves. Jesus comes. Shh. They will be stilled. They will cease. So there are people who serve with what will be stilled. You are too excited now. Repent. Because when you give it from the soul, you don't cherish such mystery. You're not standing on solid ground. Wake up. Stand on your feet. Stand up, upright. Hey, some of them, first time it happens. Hey, they're so shocked. Sleep. Now, you, you, you get it, ne? Now, you can speak to substance. Baby is in their mother's womb. Why do they move when you speak to them? Why do they respond? We speak to the substance which God knew before the baby was formed in the mother's womb. Substance can step in. Even when the hand cannot move, it will move by the permission of the one who speaks. Now, what do you carry on inside of you? 
What do you carry? What do you carry? Now one asks themselves question, what kind of power is this? It says the word of God is alive, full of power. So if you preach the word and it's without power, it's not alive. So the same John 6, he speaks about the body and the blood and says the word of God is alive and it's full of power. The same John 6 speaks about Holy Communion. He said, the words I'm speaking to their spirit and life. So how can he say we can eat him? How can he say we can drink him? This teaching is too hard. Who can accept it? They left him. It's covering the whole earth. Huh? These people. Listen to this. Huh? And when you sleep in the house, you go... You go, no. You don't go like this. That's it. Try to shake her. Try to shake. Leave it. Can you sleep like this? When they shake you like this, you're supposed to wake up, ne? Huh? Yeah. You must wake up, ne? Yeah. You must wake up, ne? Am I right? Am I right? Huh? Huh? So we're going to deal with everyone's soul to accept the things of God. So, we must deal with every soul to accept the mystery of God. Because he's the book that came, he's the mystery. And when it's opened, he says, this is my body, opened, broken for you. This is the mystery from above. What we eat here, it's the book that we're going to eat. We drink the blood. The blood of Christ is the blood of God. Because it speaks a better message. It speaks a better... Wake up! Stand on your feet. Hey, some of them first time. Ooh, first time. Can I get those who want to experience first time? You want to experience... Oh, shame. There's another one coming. Anyone, first time? You want to experience first time? First time. Sleep. Wake up. Wake up. On your feet. On your feet, all of you. One, two, three. Before I take you to hell. Stand up. Stand up. That's why now, I want you to understand this. Ne? When people dream, they go to hell. When people see visions, they go to hell or heaven and whatever. Now, you don't go apart from your spirit knowing. You get the whole thing, eh? Because when God takes you there in a dream, in a vision, if he takes you there by the flesh, which it is, you are going to die. Who's going there? You will die. So these ones, you can take them there. 
what do we minister with? With our spirit. Are we clear? Are we clear? So the spirit testifies to our spirit that we are the children of God. Stand up, all of you. Back to your seat. Quickly. Back to your seats quickly. Now, some would call it the highest level of hypnosis. If you are doing hypnosis, I must deliver you today here. Some say it's hypnotizing people. Look, even people who do that, those who do hypnosis, can they do this? Huh? Huh? Let's understand what God is doing now. Now, it says, so that we should not be like children tossed back and forth by waves of teaching. Now, there must be constant use of the mystery of solid food. When there's constant use, there's no soft food in the morning, during the day, in the evening we eat. There's no such. It's constant use of it. It's constant use of it. Holy Communion. You find people, some they teach in the churches when they give Holy Communion, only elderly people must eat and drink Holy Communion. And elderly people come in. Some of them are worse sinners. Anybody, even children, can eat Holy Communion. The mind, understanding, does not come from old age. A sinner can come and eat here. As long as the sinner sees the blood, a sinner takes it in a right manner. If you don't see the blood, you don't see the body, you take it in a wrong manner. You are sinning against the body. Say, so I love you, Jesus. Say, so I'm blessed above all. Now, let's come to chapter 5, Hebrews. I think we do be the last but one scripture. We will get celebrate with Jesus. Celebrate with Jesus. Celebrate with my Father. Say I'm blessed above all. Say I'm blessed above all. Are we ready? Are we ready to get it? Because once you, what do you eat as a matured person? You eat solid. So if you're not ripe in understanding, you come, you eat this. What are you eating? If you're not ripe in understanding, you teach about it. What are you teaching about it? If you're not ripe in understanding, you give it. What are you giving from the soul or from the spirit? So the Apostle Paul says in Hebrews, in Romans chapter 1, Romans chapter 1, he says, I thank God whom I serve with my spirit. So whatever you receive from him, it's from God. Whatever you've seen in me or learned from me, put it into practice and the God of peace shall be with you. So imitate me as I imitate Christ. So if you imitate me, you imitate Christ. So it's no longer my soul at work, but it's my spirit at work. Are we clear? Read there. Okay. Let's take it from Celebrity Jesus. Say, I'm blessed above all. Say, I'm truly blessed from above. Now, let's say, Love you, Jesus. Say, Love you, Jesus. Okay, let me just read from verse 11 with NIV vision. We have much to say about this, but it is hard to make it clear to you because you are no longer trying to understand. You are not ripe in understanding. So some of the things, there's no need to sit down and explain to people who are not ripe in understanding. You are just wasting time. You call me to come. Let's have a two-hour interview. Let's have this interview. You phone my office and say, come, let's talk. Let, let's have an interview. And ever. What am I going to say when you're, to you when you're not ripe in understanding? If I sit down and talk to you, I'm going to